That's 23 here in today's night therapy. I have 10 knives that are still awesome a year later. These are all knives that I've tested and reviewed and I continue to carry and use and I still think they're excellent knives. And first up, we're gonna get started with the Benchmade Mini Adamus. Uh, this one surprised me. Um, I liked the regular Adamus. Uh, that one was in CPMD2. And whenever they came out with a Mini Adamus, that already piqued my interest. Then they went with the CPM Crew Wear. And Benchmade does a phenomenal job with their heat treating. Uh, sometimes it takes them a little while to get it right where they want it, but once they get get a heat treat right, they really, really do an excellent job. And I know this from sharpening thousands of knives uh, over the last, you know, 10, 15 years. Their knives are always so easy to sharpen, deburr, and they get ridiculously, ridiculously sharp. And the Mini Adamus was no exception. This is just an excellent heavy user and you can use it as an everyday carry knife. Excellent size. It's not overly <laughs> heavy or anything. Excellent axis lock there. And um, even the way it's ground, it's ground decently thin. Uh, I even reground one of these and I absolutely love that one as well. But this one still gets used quite a bit and I abused this one a good bit in my uh, review. So if you hadn't checked that out, go check it out. Now I'll try to leave, uh, I'll try to leave links to all these videos, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna probably have links to these knives if they're available down below. So if I don't get to do that, just search uh, the name of the knife with my name after it. So that's the first one. Number two, we have the Wee Knives Roxy 3. Uh, this is a Todd Knife and Tool collaboration, and I love his designs, uh, and he's also a friend of mine. And this one was probably the, the one that spoke to me the most just for the size. I love the Warney blade shape. Um, this one's in CPM 20 CV. I test and reviewed this one as well. The action on this thing has gotten so buttery smooth. Excellent action, good uh, reverse flicker if you like that. You could also front flip this one. Definitely has multiple means of deployment, thumb hole open. Just a cool over, overall knife and I love the futuristic design. I think it look nice and <clears throat> they perform excellent as well. Good slicer on this one. Overall, I enjoyed this one. This one was actually prototype from Blade Shape, I mean from Blade Show, my bad. And like I said, still loving it today. Number three, we have the Guardian Tactical Recon 035. Uh, this one is uh, one of the ones with the carbon fiber inserts, but the regular ones are fine too. Um, I, I love how smooth this action is, and I have thousands of uh, opening and closing on it, and I have no misfires yet on this one. Very comfortable to um, fire that button. And it just, it just feels so nice. Um, the blade is made of LMAX steel and it held up just fine. Um, it held up better than fine. Only thing I didn't love is the pocket clip and I still don't love the pocket clip, but it functions. I mean, it's not, it's not the best pocket clip, but it's not the worst either. There's a Recon 035 by Guardian Tactical. All right, number four. We have the Quiet Carry Drift, not any old drift, but the Thumb Stud Drift, and it's that knurling. I think this is such an attractive knife, plus living in a humid environment, um, this is excellent for that. During the summer months, I tend to throw this one in the pocket a lot because it will not rust on me. The blade is made of Vanex Super Clean, which is a excellent exotic steel that pretty much rust proof. It's a nitrogen-based steel. It gets wicked <laughs> wicked sharp i think i've sharpened this one four times already and yeah every time it, it keeps on surprising me uh, i love the thin overall nature of the knife this was my dedicated fishing knife for a long time still my dedicated camp knife uh whenever i go you know out somewhere where i'm you know worried that i might cut it cut something and not, not better clean it off this is the knife i love having on me wire pocket clip the aesthetics look nice Good blade shape. Just an overall awesome, awesome knife. <clears throat> All right, next up we have uh, number five, more budget end. This is the Damn Design Invictus. 
I'll tell you what, this one really surprised me as a heavy user. Uh, the blade shape is excellent. The action on these things, nice and smooth, canted flipper tab, comes out hard. <laughs> it holds a really good edge. Now this one is one of the D2 ones. I really uh, should pick up one of the 14C28M ones, but I don't know, I just haven't got around to it. Um, it would probably feel a little better because I have gotten a little bit of uh, oxidation rusting on here. Not really rusting, but spotting because I, I had it in my pocket when it was sweaty with that blasted blade. So if you do decide to pick one of these up, I would try to pick up one of the 14C28M ones. Comfortable in hand because it's got that wide grip on it. It really fills out the hand. Excellent, excellent full flat ground, slicey blade on it. Like I said, action is mm, deep as they come. Pocket clip and his tip up left or right handed and I can easily actuate the knife left handed as well. Super smooth, very, very good knives. All right, next up we have the Protec Malibu. Now this one's seen tons of use and it shows, I mean, look at that blade, it's all jankied up. Got some scarring on it here and there. And uh, this one's USA made, Protec. There's, this is number three, 394. Good action. It's got stick from time to time. Probably the best button lock action in my collection. If not uh, the best, but close to it. But I think it is, if I recall correctly. Excellent, excellent snappy action. <clears throat> and all their action seem to be done the same. So I love that they get it right. Uh, I've sharpened this one, I would, four or five times on this one as well. Uh, CPM 20 CV steel, USA made, smooth action, snappy action. I just wish... I wish they would grind these with a hollow grind or grind them a little bit thinner because it's not the best slicer because it's not, you know, that thin behind the edge. But it still works just fine whenever you got a nice screaming sharp edge on there. Uh, comfortable, reliable, USA made. What's there not to love? All right. Next up, we have <coughs> the Spartan Harsey Folder. Um, I was kind of, <coughs> I don't know, reluctant to like this knife because it has some things that I really just don't like, especially on a knife this expensive. You know, that edge termination, that it, I just, I cannot stand that, but that's just a pet peeve of mine, something I can fix. But the action, amazing. Uh, the ergos are pretty good. The the jimping is, it, it, it's kind of bothersome to my hands, but you know, my hands aren't like most. It's a beautiful knife, I love that stone wash. The S45 on this knife held up phenomenally. The best S45 that I've handled. Now, I mean, I, I don't have a ton of knives in S45 that I, you know, that I can recall, you know, how they tested, but this one blew me away. Excellent, excellent heat treat. USA made. This is a premium knife, of course. Uh, Horsey is well, well known, well renowned as being, you know, phenomenal, phenomenal uh, knife maker, I mean, you know, designer for some of these companies as well. He knows his stuff. And uh, Spartan did an excellent, excellent job on this. They continued to uh, impress me with their USA made knives at least. But awesome, awesome knife. And I love, love the St. Michael's edition. Beautiful. All right, next up we have the Kaiser Critical Mini. Uh, I don't think there's any <laughs> any secret here. I love the Critical Mini. This is a Matt Christensen design of C CK Knives. Uh, Matt, Matt stuff really appeals to me. And uh, the Mini Critical definitely speaks to me as well. This is a non-flipper. They have the flipper. There's so many different variations of this now. And now they even have a more budget-friendly one in 154CM that I love as well. This is just the one that was closest to me whenever I was doing this video. This one's in CPM 3V. I've tested it. You know, it held up good. It held up uh, as good as a knife at this price point should have uh, held up. Deep carry pocket clip. Comfortable in hands for my medium-sized hands. Uh, I love the blade shape. I love the aesthetics. Lots of love here. I think they they run like $99. I think it's a good price for what you're getting. All right, two more to go. Next up, we have the Hinder XM18 3-inch 
No Choil DLT exclusive. Uh, skinny. And uh, yeah, I tend to carry this, this one of my hinders. This is the one I grab the most just because it's most comfortable for me or easiest for me to carry, should I say. Um, it's got the slicer grind on here, M390 steel. It holds an edge, you know, pretty good. Not Definitely not my best, but uh, overall, I like the aesthetics of the knife, and uh, I enjoy carrying it, you know, especially if I need something with a little bit more toughness to it. Uh, this one's not a bad one to carry. It's held up fine. I don't think I have any, you know, major edge problems. I've sharpened it up, uh, I think, once after the review, and I haven't sharpened it again since. So, yeah, great knife. Now, this one has continued to shock me and continued to find its way in the pocket. Last, we have the Civivi Button Lock Elementum. It's just a great, great user knife, and it's comfortable in hand. And even though I wish they would have made it a regular button lock so I didn't have to open it with this button, I, I, can't, I can't, can't lie. This <laughs> I find myself doing this all the time. Eh, yeah, my wife hates this knife or coming out halfway, or uh, holding the, the lock down and doing the reverse flick. You know, definitely a fun knife to, to use, and it's even uh, even more enjoyable to use. This one's in 14C28N, and it just performs like nobody's business. It's got a deep hollow grind on here. Man, oh man, and this 14C gets oh, so sharp. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, my card is nice and comfortable in hand. It's, it's decently thin, deep carry pocket clip that's tip up left or right handed. And yeah, those are the knives that have been in the collection and been used quite a bit over the last year and some, you know, even longer. And they continue to impress me. I would love to know if you have any that you've been using for the last year or so that still you love i would love to know down below now i definitely have more than this that um i you know have still are still loving but these are ones that i've you know used quite often most recently and uh yeah they're still continuing to put a smile on my face so there you go if you have any questions comments concerns please leave them down below i hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye, little, 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 little.